Hello everyone, this is Teacher Glenn. My apology for my voice because I have a very bad flu. But nevertheless, I can definitely deliver the content of this video. This is all about systems of linear congruence. So let's consider this congruences or linear congruences a system. Ibig sabihin, lahat po ng x variables na ito ay isa lang ang value. So there are four steps that we will consider. Step one is to determine capital M where capital M is the product of M sub i as i starts from 1 to n. So lahat po ng M sub 1, M sub 2, hanggang M sub n, i-multiply lang po natin lahat. That would be our capital M. Followed by step 2, determine M sub i. This is the quotient of capital M and our M sub i's. Step 3 is to form the linear congruences. This is our formula. And then step 4, we now solve for x using the summation of the product of a sub i, m sub i, b sub i, as i starts from 1 to n. Okay, so let's look at some example. Let's have example number 1. So we have this system of linear congruence. x is congruent to 1 mod 2. x is congruent to 2 mod 3. x is congruent to 3 mod 5. And x is congruent to 5 mod 7. Ano nga kaya ang value ng x na ito? So step 1 is to compute for capital M. We'll just take the product of 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. So this is 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. And this is equal to 210. We go for step 2. Since there are 4 linear congruences, there are also 4 m sub i's. So this is now 210 divided by our m sub i's. So m sub 1, this is 210 divided by 2, and this is equal to 105. m sub 2 is 210 divided by 3, and this is equal to 70. m sub 3 naman, this is 210 divided by 5, and this is equal to 42. And m sub 4, 210 divided by 7, this is equal to... 30. So that's step 2. Now, step 3, we now form our linear congruences. There are 4, so there should also be 4 linear congruences. So, ang ating m sub 1 is 105, and then this becomes b sub 1, congruent to 1, mod, and our first m sub i is 2. Then followed by 70, b sub 2 is congruent to 1 mod 3. Then we have 42, b sub 3, congruent to 1 mod 5. And then we have 30, b sub 4, congruent to 1 mod 7. Okay. So this will be transformed into simple value because take note 105 divided by 2 has a remainder of 1 so this becomes 1 b sub 1 congruent to 1 mod 2 and then if we have 70 divided by 3 this is divisible with a remainder of 1 as well parang yung 69 divisible by 3 may sobrang isa so this becomes b sub 2 or 1b sub 2 congruent to 1 mod 3. This one, it's very obvious. 40 is divisible by 5. We have a remainder of 2. So this becomes 2b3 congruent to 1 mod 5. And then uh, 30, we can have 28 here plus 2. So 28 is divisible by 7. And then we have a remainder of 2. So this becomes 2 b4 congruent to 1 mod 7. And then finally, we can determine the value of all the b, b sub i's, which is for this uh, first linear congruence, b sub 1 is equal to 1. For b sub 2, this is also equal to 1. For b sub 3, if we try 2, 2 times 2 is 4, but cannot be divided by 5. So, dapat 4 pa rin yun. If we try 3, 
b sub 3 is 3 times 2, that would be 6. 6 divided by 5 is 1 remainder 1. So, b3 here is equal to 3. For b sub 4, let's start with 2. So, if b4 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, it's not divisible by 7. If it's 3, kulang pa rin kasi 6. If it's 4, 2 times 4 is 8. So, divide by 7, that's 1 remainder 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating b sub 4 ay 4. So, in step 3, we should be able to determine now the b sub i's. And then, our a sub i here would be located here. Ito po yun. Take note that this is your m sub i. So, let's execute step 4. So, a sub 1 natin ay 1. Multiplied to our m sub 1 is 105. Multiplied to our b sub 1 is 1. Plus, hanggang 4 po ang ating n value. Dahil obvious naman na 4 ang ating linear congruences. So, 4 din yung ating isa sum up. a sub 2 natin ay 2. And then, m sub 2 is 70 times b sub i is 1 plus a sub 3 natin ay 3 times m sub 3 natin ay 42 times b sub 3 natin ay 3 plus the last one, a sub 4 ay 5. M sub 4 are 30. And then B sub 4 natin ay 4. Double check ang mga entries bago mag-compute to make sure that you are doing it right. When everything is correct and simplify everything, you should come up with 1,223. Now take note that this is still under modulo 210. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin ay hindi dapat mas mataas sa 210. So, let's keep on subtracting 210 or try dividing it by 210 until we end up with a simple value which should be equal to 173. Now, if you check this value 173 to all of this linear congruences, tatama po yung sagot. However, take note na Hindi lang ito yung possible na sagot. Pupwede rin yung value na 173 plus yung 210 and any multiple of 210. That's why I'm putting k value there such that yung k mo ay element ng integers. Yan po ang actual na sagot dyan. So, ibig sabihin... Uh, pwede ang 173 and then pwede rin ang 210 plus 173. Pwede rin ang 210 times 2 plus 173 and, and so on and so forth. Sasakto lang siya dito. That's how the system of linear congruence work. Hindi lang iisa yung kanyang sagot. So that's example number 1. Uh, let's look at another example. Mas simple ito dahil... Tatlo lang. So, if we apply the four steps, this will be equal to 5 times 4 times 11. And this is equal to 220. Now, if we go to step 2, this will be 220 divided by 5 is equal to 44. That's our M1. M2 is 220 divided by 4. This is 55. M3 naman, this is 220, divide by 11, and this is 20. Step 3, we have 44 as our M1, and then B1 is congruent to 1, and our modulo 5. And then, M sub 2 is 55, times B sub 2 is congruent to 1, this is modulo 4. M sub 3 is 20. B3 congruent to 1 modulo 11. Okay, and then we compute for our B sub i's. 
When simplified, take note that we are dividing 44 by 5. We have 40 is divisible by 5. Ang nitira ay 4. So we have 4 B sub 1 congruent to 1 mod 5. Yan. Then here, uh, sobra naman ito ng tatlo. 52 plus 3. 52 is divisible by 4. So that becomes 3 B sub 2 congruent to 1 mod 4. And then ito naman, 20 Bawasan mo lang ng 11, you end up with 9B3 congruent to 1 mod 11. Then we now compute for our B sub 1, B sub 2, and B sub 3. Okay, so trial and error lang tayo. So kailan ba siya nagiging remainder ng 1? If you try 2, 2 times 4 is not remainder 1. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. Yun, papasok, no? 16. Divide by 5, remainder 1. So, ibig sabihin, 4 ang B1 natin. Test din natin ang B2. So, let's have 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Hindi naman remainder ng 1 kapag divided by 4. But if we test uh, 3, 3 times 3 is 9. Divide by 4, meron siyang remainder na 1. So, this means B sub 2 is equal to 3. Then, finally, we have B sub 3. Uh, test kagad natin yung malaki-laki ng konti. 5. 5 times 9 is 45. Uh, 44 plus 1. So, 44 is divisible by 11. Meron siyang remainder na 1. So, ibig sabihin, B3 natin ay 5. Then, if we apply step 4, ang ating A sub 1 is 7, M sub 1 is 44, and then ang B sub 1 natin ay 4. Plus, ang ating A sub 2 ay negative 3. M sub 2 is 55, and then B sub 2 is 3. Plus, Ang ating A sub 3 ay 2 times M sub 3 ay 20 and then B sub 3 ay 5. This is equivalent to, if we simplify that value, it should be 937. Now take note that this is still under modulo 220. Yan. So ang pinaka... Remainder dyan, pag na-simplify, this will be equal to 57. But then again, that's not the only answer. Pwede tayong magkaroon ng 57 plus 220k where k is the element of the integers. Yan. So aside from 57 as the value of x in this equation, po pwede rin magbago. Uh, lagdagan mo lang ng 220. A multiple of 220 is doable. Okay? You may redo this solution and if I made some errors, feel free to write on the comment section. Thank you!